Hello everybody, I'm gonna try to explain to you how we are gonna build Lego Sumo robots. Okay, you can see on the internet a lot of different kinds of sumo robots, and you can wonder how we can build the sumo robots with Lego. And uh, absolutely you are gonna use the same things like a Lego AV3 brick, and of course you're gonna use the large motors over here. Of course, you're gonna use at least two of them, and you should use the video motor, not good for the driving, you know that already, and also no power for the push the other robots. And also, important part the tire selection. You can see the AV3 is offering a lot of different kinds of tires. You can use the largest one for more strength and power, or you can use the regular one or you can use the NXT tires, maybe it's gonna be help to you. And you see I have a, a couple of examples for you. For example, with this robot, we use these tires. It is really good and powerful. You can use it. And also we use this one over here, regular wheels. And it's also good. And you mentioned that this is a whole wheel drive, it is so different than this one. And also you can buy your own tires at Amazon or eBay, something like that. Okay, this is, I'm gonna explain all of them, but just for the tire section I want to send you also over here another one. For the drive section, you can use the regular tires. Tires is important of course, but not a big deal, you can choose the end of them and with your design of course you need a line follow uh, you need a color sensor because you need to detect the outside line you don't want to go the, over the line because the sumo wrestling with robots is depending on to which robot is gonna is gonna stay in the circle and if you don't want to go out you should use the color sensor for stay in the circle like this we use this one over here and color sensor in there and also over here you can see color sensor over here you need to detect the line for the stay in the circle and of course you need a ultrasonic sensor detected the other opponent robot it is so important i decide to use the two of this one because one of them is not clearly detecting the lego because you can see is the if you're gonna look at it, that robot it look like solid is not solid some holes inside of the robot you can see it and our one ultrasonic in one ultrasonic sensor is not good to detect the whole robots maybe you can see the front part is full is okay but if your opponent's robot is like that it is so hard to detect for our sensors uh, if you're gonna use the two sensors in here one of them in the head one of them off to the side it's gonna be much easier to detect the other side robots and also you need to cover your wheels guys if you can mention that this robot is the tire is thin and reachable easily and other robots can easily push your tires and you can your robot will flip easily we don't want to do that we don't want to see that because of this reason in that condition you should cover your wheels to protect your robots and front side and also back side and the side if you have a time or if you have a space you can cover your side tires also in that robot condition you see whole side is covered by the Lego pieces then so hard to reach the open robot to your sumo and one more thing after the build of your robot it should be stretched it should be solid robot you can hand your robot in your one hand if it's stretching it's not good shape you need to redesign it after the design of your robot finish your robot is another part of your programming and strategy it is another part of the, our topics right now thanks for watching See you.